how to do phase seeding planning for your bioflock tanks bioflock tank species seeding and planning the biggest challenge comes after you set up your bioflock system where to sell your harvest before seeding or setting up bioflow aquaculture system please identify where you're going to sell your harvest to whom and at what prices before seeding or evaluating bioflow system please evaluate your local market or network whether the most successful species of bioflow systems like tilapia pangasius desi mangur singi vietnamese koi or shrimp has demand in your local market if yes then only go ahead with breeding of the species bioflow system can only be successful if you are able to sell your harvest at the required or targeted prices assuming that you have answer to above questions and you have set up five tanks now you must decide whether you should be breed same species in all tanks or different species in each tank evaluate all your pros and cons find here a seeding plan of different breeds in different tanks taking into consideration for one harvest only avoiding seeding during the winter season where the temperature drops below 15 degrees celsius by flux setup in the zone or the area where there is a less effect of winter season and the required temperature can be maintained whole year then this kind of setup you can take whole year breeding and harvesting for our understanding an example we have considered 6 months time period for harvesting you can work out your own plan accordingly We have taken an example like we'll start our seeding in the first week of March and we expect the harvest in the end of August. We have considered 3 months of winter season, December to February, column marked in red with no seeding activity. For the zone or area where the winter season is fierce, it's advisable not to start any seeding activity during winters. and we have focused on multiple species so that we should be able to offer different species of fishes for the market after every 6 months of harvest periods and not to crowd the market with oversupply of the same kind of fish species which might affect the wholesale prices of fish species harvested for example we have taken in tank 1 tilapia which we will seed in the month of march in tank 2 we will seed in the month of april and we expect an harvest in the end of september similarly for the tank 3 we will start the seeding in the month of first week of may and we expect a harvest in the end of october similarly for the june we have taken a seeding in the first week of june and we expect the harvest in the end of november remember in any consumer market wholesale prices or commodity or product will fluctuate based on supply higher the supply lower will be the prices lower the supply higher will be the prices and the tank 5 we have taken tilapia as it's a hardy fish and which can sustain a temperature drop to a certain level and it is marked in red as its harvesting will happen during the winter season which might be at risk you can take or make your plan accordingly as per your market needs demand and supply forecasting of of fish species